Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an HP laptop. Let me show you the broken screen here. If you take a closer look, you can see that the bottom left corner have these uh, black lines running across it. So when I turn on the laptop, the entire screen is just pixelated, fuzzy, and doesn't have a display at all. So there was an impact here, damaged the screen, and I'll walk you through on how to replace the broken screen. First, you need to make sure that you have the same model that I have here. If you've turned it around in the back of the laptop, take a closer look here. You can see that it says HP laptop model 15 EF 0025 WM. Okay. So this is the laptop is kind of like a rosy color, rosy gold color. And I have the metal prying tool. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, give it a separation on the, uh, the plastic here between the screen. Once you open up the uh, the little gap, you can use the plastic prying tool to run it across the uh, the plastic. The goal is to separate this plastic connector here. Now open up the screen. Here, what you want to do is you want to get the metal prying tool, stick it underneath. The bezel is actually double-sided tape glue onto the base. So you may have some difficulty to separate them, uh, but just work your way around it slowly. As you're prying it open, you can feel that the tape is separating. So I try to not damage the double-sided tape. I will be reusing the same tape, the bezel, and do the installation. I'm not adding a new tape on it. Um, so try to reuse the same tape if you can. Because we are working with the cracked screen, it is okay if you, you know, have some scratches on it because we are changing out the brand new screen. Right, so I have disconnected the uh, the bezel, and as you can see, that there are two, three little tiny holes, one, two, and third one, and these three holes would have to realign uh, back to this plastic here. If you can take a look, there's one right here, the second one is further down, and the third one is on this side. You can just well, we do the installation after and I'll try to explain it to you. All right, so the next step, so that I can identify the LCD screen. And the screen here is adhesive tape onto the, uh, the main base. So it is not a separate, um, let me see if it comes up. Yeah, so this little um, handle, or you, you call it the bar or the, 
the thing that that holds on to the base the top cover i mean okay so this this thing right here on both sides the left and right the one that is holding on to the um the side of the screen is actually not holding the screen it is holding on to this cover here the top cover that's what it is the only thing that is holding on to the lcd screen is this double-sided adhesive tape So if you take a look here at the very bottom right, you see this little black gooey stuff? That is the uh, the double-sided tape I'm talking about. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get a good grip of that and start pulling it towards your body. So start pulling it down. Right, so you can go pretty far and it's pretty sticky. Let's work on the other side here. Okay, you can see that the uh, the tape can go pretty far and it's already like this is 15 inch right the laptop it can go even further than that so anyway once you remove the two little plastic and now the screen can just slide out by towards your body so let it lay flat towards your body okay towards yourself lay it down and this is the uh, the connector that we need to disconnect but before we can disconnect you can you need to actually remove this tape here all right I'm going to reuse that tape there's another tape here once you have opened up the tape you can slide the connector away from your body so push it slide it to that direction away from your body and that's the connector. Now the entire screen is ready to be replaced. And let me show you where you can buy the screen from. So you want to look up the model here is NT156WHM-N34. What I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. Go check out my um, Amazon link right there. Or eBay link uh, go check it out I will link the screen the tools um, that you need for this repair as well as the double-sided tape because we need to retape the screen back together right so we remove that black tape on the on the side here we need to retape it and um, get it going now I do not have the new screen with me because I needed to check the serial number the model here before I can purchase the screen so assuming this is the new screen all right i do not have the new screen but assuming this is the new screen it just came in like a second ago and what you want to do is you just want to do a reverse process to do the installation right so put down your new screen slide the connector back in Once you slide it in, make sure you kind of pull and snuggle, like pull it down towards the body. Make it make sure it's tight, firmly, and then retape that cable right there. Now the next step here, what I like to do is go ahead and cut up the uh, the double-sided tape. I'm not going to waste mine, but just wanted to show it to you. What you want to do is you want to cut 
and have an extra length right about this much here you see that you see this little extra thing sticking out this is the one that would be sticking back out on this side of the uh, on, at the end of the uh, the base here so we're going to have this much of the uh, you know the tape cut it and then redo it on the other side same process leave it slightly out so if you're going to crack the screen again for the second time at least you know where the tape is right so tape it again cut it and once you have the tape on you're going to peel that double-sided tape and lift the screen straight back up and then kind of glue it back them together all right so I would say give it a ballpark. There's no really a line, but I think it's pretty, uh, pretty corner down to the screen. So just align and tip it back together. Okay. And then with the next step, what we're going to do is going to install the bezel. Remember the bezel? The double-sided tape here so if you have extra double-sided tape like the tiny ones the 3 mm the 3 millimeter or the 2 millimeter meaning that the thickness of the the tape you can actually re-tape them back on the side of the bezel and glue it back together so it's pretty straightforward again you just have to realign Okay, once you realign, you can just press it down. Press all the basil, clip it down. Right, and then the tape will re-tape it back together. That's pretty much it. I mean, just a reverse process to install the uh, the basil back together. Um, yeah, so I hope that this video helps and that you're able to replace your own laptop crack screen. Um, do me a small, small, small favor. Uh, if you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and comment below and click the like button. Uh, let me know if you were able to follow along my video to get your screen laptop re re repair. I'd like to hear from you. Um, just and if you have other questions regarding about this laptop here or any other thing else, just comment below. I do read the comment and I'll get back to you. Um, through the comment all right so again i i hope you learned something today um until next time take care bye now